lesson is about changes in solid materials by Maria Janine V. Margallo, Teacher 1. This will be in week 3 to 4. In this lesson, you will describe changes in solid materials when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. Read the poem below. Can you name materials that can be bent, pressed, hammered, or cut? Let us read this point by May Natividad. Bend it, stretch it, hammer it, break it. A wood cabinet is hard. I can't bend nor stretch it. But then I found in my room my broken crayons and metal key light in the window my younger brother played with them so I placed them in a row my mother saw this and she gave me coins to buy a metal case that is new so I got on my bicycle and bought a hammer but along the way I found a tin can so I did bring it home too I pressed and hammered a tin can to make a pencil case so this time I know all things I can't keep in it surely will be safe and always look new. What are the different solid materials mentioned in the poem? Yes, we have the key, the broken pencil, the broken crayon, cabinet, the bicycle, the coin, the hammer, and the tin can. What are the different ways by which these materials are changed? These are the ways that materials can be changed. You have read in the story the different solid materials found at home. These materials have their own property or characteristics. A wooden cabinet cannot be bent because it's very tough, but they can easily be shaped. Unlike the wood cabinet, crayons and pencils are brittle. The metal key is tough, hard, and has luster. A tin can is shaped into pencil case. This means that metals are malleable, that which can be hammered into tin sheets. This property is called malleability. In car manufacturing companies, Bending of iron and steel bars are done in making the parts of the bicycle or other automobiles and appliances found at home. Isn't that amazing? Metals are usually shiny and can conduct both heat and electricity. You probably observe electric wires at home. The materials used for this are copper wires. When bent and hammered into thin wires, they will change in size and shape only, but there's no new material form. The ability is associated with the ability of the materials to be hammered, thin or stretched into the wire without breaking. A ductile substance can be thrown into a wire. Other examples of ductile materials include gold, silver, and copper. Other materials can be bent like pencil, crayons, and small twigs, but they are brittle. Solid materials can be changed in many ways by cutting, tearing, bending, pressing, and hammering. Such action may change the material size 
shape, texture, color, and other characteristics or properties. But, no new material is formed. Let us try to investigate these properties of materials in the following learning tasks, specially designed for you. Hope you will enjoy learning! Let us try to investigate this property of materials in the following learning tasks, specially designed for you. Hope you will enjoy learning! Learning task number one. Investigate what material have the ability to bend, hammer, cut, or press. Materials that we need are clay, bottle cup, iron nail, hammer, scissors, cloth. So these are the steps. Number one, get all the materials needed. Number two, do the do the, the following. Press a clay, bend a plastic bottle, cut a piece of used cloth, hammer a piece of nail in wood. Observe what changes happen in each material. Then record your answer by completing the graphic organizer below. Record your answer in this graphic organizer. I will give you example in number one. For example, if you press a clay, what changes happen in a clay? It will change its size. It will change its shape. And it change its texture. For number 2 and number 3 and number 4, do it yourself. Learning task number 2. Do the activity below. Use only the materials that are available in your place or at home. Materials. One piece candle, aluminum foil, wooden stick, plastic cup, chocolate bar, and match sticks. Steps Number one, try to bend, cut, hammer, or press each of the materials listed in table one below. Number two, write in all of you what you can do to change the material. Number three, Write in column 3 to describe the changes that occurred in the material. These are the table. We have here three columns. For the first column, we have the materials. We have the candle, the foil, wooden stick, metal clothes knife or washing line, chocolate bar, match stick, pencil, crayons, Used paper pad, plastic glass, glass bottle, iron rod, or stick. For the next column, we appear what can I do to change the material. Then the last column, what change happened to the material. For example, the first material is candle. What can I do to change the material? Here are some ways. We can bend or heat the candle. What happened or what change happened to the material or to the candle if you bend or heat it? Here are the change. It can, the candle will change its size, its shape or texture. You have already an example. The rest of the materials, you can answer it. Enjoy answering. number three using the given materials do the, the following steps below you may choose the materials that are available at home materials stone play-doh eraser sponge ruler elastic band string ball cloth plastic straw metal spoon and piece of wood steps 
with the given solid material shows by which you can change the characteristics of the materials. Check each column for each material's response appropriately. We have here the table, solid materials, stone, play-doh, eraser, sponge, ruler, copper wires, plastic straw, ball, cloth, ball pen, metal spoon, and metal hoop. Then we have here the column, bend, the hammer, cut, and press. So we're going to put the check or put a check to the column. For example, bend, hammer, cut, or press. Number one, stone. So what are the ways that you can change that stone? Yes, hammer. We can hammer the stone to change its material physical appearance. How about the plate? Eraser, sponge, ruler, copper wire, plastic straw, ball, cloth, ball pen, metal spoon, and metal. You can answer it. For guide questions, we have your number one. Describe what happened to solid materials. When they were cut, pressed, hammered, or bent, what will be your answer? So this will be the possible answer. When the solid materials were cut, pressed, hammered, or bent, it will change its size, shape, texture, color, and some other properties. For number two, did they form a new material and why? What will be your possible answer? Yes, you will be our possible answer. No, there is no new material form. The only changes happen in the solid materials are its physical appearance like shape, size, texture, and color. Learning task number 4. Examine the different solid materials given below. Choose the physical activity that will cause the materials to respond. Write the letter or letters of the best correct answer. We have here A. Bend, B. Cut, C. Hammer, D. Press. So look at the picture. For number, example for number 1, we have here a plastic paddle. So the possible answer will be cut. We, we can cut this plastic bottle and if we cut this plastic bottle, it will change its size and shape. The texture will be the same. And also the color. So there will be no change in texture and color. For number 2 and 215, try to do it yourself. Enjoy answering it. That's all about changes in solid materials. Thank you for listening and God bless us all.